there's a war out there. Nope, not a war. Much more boring than that. War never changes. I mean, that's true, but this isn't a war. It's discourse. The internet loves itself some discourse. I mean, there's a likelihood you even clicked this video just to get some tiny flecks of meat off the destitute bones of conflict. And artists, being the intensely artists that they are, like to stir up vats of the juiciest, personally affected conflict. But much like the giant ladle in that festering stew, it just keeps going around and around and around. Where will it stop? Oh, it, it actually never will. Now, Brooks, why do you care? You're like 80,000 years old. What amount of umbrage could you possibly extract from this typhoon of discourse? Why don't you take advantage of your current setting and just go touch some grass? That's a fair point. I mean, by no means am I the authority or the best artist out there, but as a professional artist who spent quite a bit of time trying to teach other people how to get better themselves, the results have been pretty surprising. I'd actually venture to say at times, confounding. A few days ago I found myself where I usually do at my low points of good judgment, scrolling through Twitter. Why do I spend any time there? Can't count the reasons I should stay. One by one they all just fade away until Nick posts a pretty good Dune meme and I'm back in, baby. This time it was an artist named Katrin Snodgrass, but the last few times it was Alexander Neonakis, previous art director at Naughty Dog, you know, the AAA game studio, or any number of professional artists giving an incredibly good faith vital piece of art advice to people trying to get into the industry. The phrasing is always a little different, and some of the particulars change, but it comes down to this. Some folks that are either struggling to get an art job or are complaining that they can't get hired would do well to either work on their art fundamentals or spend some more time building a higher quality portfolio. To maybe 95% of you, this sounds like a perfectly reasonable, possibly even boring piece of advice directed at a select group of people. To the remaining 5%, though, these are the words used to commit a war crime. Warning, warning, the accords have been breached. It's time for discourse. So maybe you're curious why this would cause such a problem, or maybe you're in the group that feels pretty strongly that this should not have been said. Either way, let's walk through three reasons why these things get spun up so much and some helpful perspective in case this discourse causes you to feel personally attacked as an artist. Because attack, though it may not be, pain is still the outcome. We'll get back to that. Um, so, uh, first of all, this is somewhere that I can weigh in with experience. A large part of my teaching content has been sharing my own journey as an artist, including struggles and mistakes, and essentially trying to teach a younger version of myself so they could do it better than I could. Now, if there is like an element of bad faith to that, it isn't perceivable to me or intentional. Really, it's a story tradition of mentors and apprentices that passes down knowledge and techniques in art, really in any skilled trade. And yet, if I title a video something like five reasons your characters aren't cute and how to fix it, the kind of semi-caustic title that I don't usually use but that's clearly rewarded by YouTube, you would not believe the amount of comments that say some variation of, but my characters are cute but I'm not trying to make cute characters. As though I made the video with Abigail Jenkins from Wichita County, Scotland, specifically in mind, and then served it onto your recommended page. Whoa, that I could wield such power. This is something that I do see a few people saying when a tweet ambushes them from their timeline, that it's kind of like when grandma thinks that every Facebook post she sees is a message someone sent to her personally, and when something that was clearly intended for you does not perfectly align with the anticipated and full vision of your personal experience, Baby, you, baby, you got a stew going. Okay, that one does happen, but it's a little silly. So what else is happening here more legitimately? Well, it's usually people that only intend to do art as a hobby, a pastime, a release, for fun, conflating that what they're doing isn't good enough. Oh, that word, good, it comes up constantly in these replies, specifically as, well, what does good even mean? Like it's, and I feel like I've made this analogy before, so please don't sue me, some kind of ship of Theseus problem, and it's really not. It's the same vein as, but it's just my art style, and, but art is subjective. You're right that it is to a certain extent, and if you are just doing this for fun and aren't worried about some measurable improvement, please feel free to ignore the advice. But when it comes to the art industry, whether it's concept art, animation, games, comics, what have you, there are firm, I'd even venture to say competitive, standards. Standards for professional visual communication. Work that can be made almost assembly line style by teams, work that can be reproduced and revised, and work that's going to look professional. 
yes, all pro work is not born equal, but there are firm baselines. Baselines that benefit from practice of fundamentals. Ow! There's that pain again. Anyway, what's number two? Well, it has to do with this privileged ivory tower professional hurling stones down at us mere mortals. They have it all. They have 10,000 plus followers. They don't even know what it's like to be down here in the muck, trying and failing. How dare they? This is a cognitive failure that we're all guilty of. It's preyed upon by every overnight success story and saturation of finished quality work. We're just seeing the end result and not considering everything it took to get there. Pro artists are almost unanimously familiar with the struggle it took to get where they are, and they're offering this advice to that younger, less experienced version of themselves. Someone could say to me, you don't know what it's like to work a job doing manual labor because you just make videos and draw all day, despite the fact that I absolutely spent the majority of my life making ends meet with lots of manual labor jobs. I don't expect you to have known that. It's just probably not super helpful to assume otherwise. Lots of artists have the experience of it taking years to get where they wanted to and are likely still growing. Which brings us to the third point. Pain. Pain struggle, agony. These are the feelings that come not just from war, but with trying to improve. For even the best artist, improvement is this lifelong journey, which means pain will come with you all your days of drawing the pretty gumdrop ponies frolicking with the rainbow mice. All too easily, pain defeats our will. It puts us off from going to the gym today and tomorrow and ever again. It's uncomfortable, it's difficult, and unfortunately, it's what you feel every time someone says work on your fundamentals. Ow! Why? Well, because you tried that and you aren't good yet. It feels so difficult that you'll probably never be good or that maybe you're not talented like other people or it's just not in you to be good that way. And now someone on the internet has said something that causes you pain. And what's it called when someone inflicts pain on you? An attack. So here's the thing. There are methods of learning fundamentals that are <clears throat> fundamentally boring, and oftentimes when we don't have an incentive to learn something, we aren't motivated to. But here's the other thing. Talent is like not even a real thing. If anything, it's the motivation and perseverance that an individual had to build skill, and anyone can build skill, even you. Patience is difficult to nurture if you're in a place of scarcity or when you're at the bottom of the mountain, even though it feels like you've been climbing forever. It's frustrating when you expected to be in a better place by now. What artists who are more experienced are trying to say with their hot takes is that we've been there before, you aren't alone, and that with the right ingredients and discipline, you can take the same ingredients in this unending, swirling hot stew and make some good soup. And yet because of pain defeating the will of more people than those who triumph over it, we will still always have this stew. Hey, I just made a series where you can practice one of those fundamentals and learn to draw the head, a thing that gets drawn surprisingly often. I have a character design course that covers all the fundamentals too, and a Patreon where you can get some of my art and personalized art help. I've got an animated pilot called Stormfellers coming soon, so stay tuned for that too. I'm Bagel Denizen on every internet conflict generation platform. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating.